Here are a number of different audio recorders. They come in all shapes and sizes and have different qualities. I'm not going to tell you how to use any of them in any detail. That's up to you and you can download the user guide from Learn Essential and learn how to use them in your own time. I will talk briefly about what you should consider before choosing which type of recorder to use and I'll give you a few tips on how to get a good recording. So let's look at these audio recorders. This first one is a Nagra recorder. It's a high-end professional recorder and as such is only available for the broadcast students to use. I'm showing it to you because I want you to see a range of audio recorders. The Nagra has a high quality microphone and displays the record levels on the screen. The Nagra records in either WAV or MP3 format. It also costs a lot of money. The H2 Zoom is a mid quality recorder and is available for all students to use. It has good quality microphones built into the top and also displays the record levels on the screen. The H2 Zoom records in either WAV or MP3 format and it doesn't cost so much money either, around £100. Next is the mobile phone. We all have mobile phones these days and most phones have the ability to record audio. Have a look at your mobile phone to see if it can record audio. If it does, make sure you know how it works, how much time you can record for and where the mic is so you know how to hold it. Make a recording and listen back to it. Ask yourself, is the quality good enough to use as your everyday recorder? Or only if you have nothing else to use? Unless you have a very good quality phone, the microphone is likely to be of low quality and will be unlikely to display record levels either. Mobile phones usually record in an MP3 format. My last example is of a Sanyo recorder, but this could be any low cost make of recorder. This model is a good recorder, but these types of recorders generally have lower quality microphones and do not display the record levels. With these types of recorders and perhaps mobile phones, you should always do a test recording and listen to the quality before recording anything of importance. These types of recorder usually record in MP3 format. As you can see, there are a lot of devices available that you could use to record audio with. But the three points I pick up on with all of them is the quality of the microphone, the ability to observe record levels and the record format. The lower the quality of the microphone, the lower the quality the recording is going to be. If you are able to observe and adjust the record levels as you record, your recording is likely to be of a better quality. For more information about record levels, check out Lesson 1 and refer to the Devices User Guide on Learning Central. And lastly, if you can record in a higher quality WAV format, do so. Then convert to MP3 if required. To finish off this lesson, here are a few of my top tips. Firstly, how you hold the recorder in your hand is really important. You may have noticed that these types of audio recorder have the microphone very close to where your hand is. But your hand or fingers could make unwanted noises that are picked up by the microphone. So hold the recorder firmly, keep your fingers away from the microphone and do not move or tap your fingers as you record. By, by the way, the H2 Zoom has a handle or mini tripod that can be attached to the base of the device to minimise hand noises. Secondly, how far you hold the recorder from the sound source is also really important. Let's assume you're recording your own voice. If you hold the recorder at arm's length, then not only will your voice be picked up, but also all the sounds that are around you. The effect would be that your voice will sound distant, 
and mixed with the sounds of your surroundings. If you hold the recorder close to your lips, the microphone will pick up the air that comes out of your mouth as you speak. Words beginning with B, F, P are the worst and can create a popping effect in the microphone as they are spoken. So the best distance to hold the microphone is about 20 to 30 centimetres from your mouth. Another example is when you record an interview. The temptation is to move the recorder towards the interviewee and you as each speak. However, the best method is to find a distance between each of you where the record level is of an equally good level and then keep the recorder still. If both voices are of equal volume, then this might mean the recorder is an equal distance from you and the interviewee. However, you may find that your interviewee has a louder or quieter voice than you. In these situations, move the recorder away from the louder voice or closer to the quieter voice. Again, your aim is to get a record level for both voices that are of an equally good level. Always have headphones with you if you are recording audio. Don't wear the headphones when recording an interview because you will tend to listen only to the voice and not the sounds within the environment. If the sounds of the environment become loud, such as traffic or crowds, then you might not be as aware of it as you would without the headphones. You then have the chance to make the decision to stop recording until the sounds reduce or you could move to a quieter location. Do use headphones to listen back to the recording to make sure the recording is OK. Some recorders don't have speakers and even if they do, the speakers can be of such low quality that the recording will sound terrible when played through them. And lastly, if you can and have the time, always record a test recording and listen back to it, especially if your recorder does not display the record levels on screen. Go to the next lesson to start learning about editing and audio recording.